the Forts Official Tournament 19 Co-op Badges Plus Plus versus Muffin Man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game number three of the Forts Official 19 replay commentary here on Synergy Gaming TV. Now, Quick reminder, an update for those of you guys just tuning in for the very first time. This is a 2v2 cooperative tournament, so in the first round, you're going to be seeing two players, one base. Now, without further ado, let's introduce our teams on the left-hand side. Team number one, playing Pinch Fist. It is the Badges++, plus plus, featuring Kronkinator and Mateo. Those of you guys that uh, are a little unfamiliar with these names, watch this team. They're going to do really, really good. Their opponents... On the right-hand side, team number two playing Buster. It is the Muffin Men, featuring Toby Quack and Fluton. Now, just a, another heads up here on this tournament. There were no qualifiers. Uh, I don't believe the developers do qualifiers for their tournaments. So I believe it's the first eight teams to come into these official tournaments are the ones who get entered in. So, um, let's make it happen let's see what these guys are doing here right now we've got the workshop technology coming down here for uh badges plus plus here it's looking like sandbags are going to be here uh this is another prime example of why i'd like to see another uh, or some map rotations in the rank system uh rather than just the stagnant map pool all the time they can make changes and adaptations to things like this it's very easy for players now to make a sandbag wall to prevent against buzz saws which is why some of the maps were taken out of the map pool in the beginning not to worry, though, guys, we are going to be releasing a video on some of my ideas uh, for uh, suggestions for the game. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to do that. Hit that notification bell so that you get the alerts the next time we post a video. Great harassment here from Croconator using that sniper effectively, taking out some of that stuff. I believe they had no door on that sniper here. Both players going for that workshop technology. Quick expansion up here, not making any nodes. Just that one corner one buzzsaw breaking off the connection here. Coming from the Muffin Men. And uh, you can see the difference, though, in, in just just right off the bat here. Uh, great buzzsaw shot from the badges. Uh, that They made a node up here. They put a turbine and a node. Using a rope node is actually very, very, very expensive. For these guys here, didn't use any nodes at all, and they got a second turbine there for free. So that's just a good indication of the skill gap happening between these guys right now. Lots of buzzsaws coming in from Kronkinator and Mateo. They both have them selected here at the moment. This is going to be uh, like a dual fire shenanigans here. Mateo's probably going to aim down below. See if they can cut the core right out of the base. They can. We're at 2 minutes and 30 seconds here already, and it's looking like the Muffin Men are in serious trouble at the moment. I think that went over the door to hit the sniper. I'm not sure how that happened here at the moment. These guys, are you going to use armor to try and protect their core rather than putting in a sandbag wall? Um... Sandbags are a very cheap and inexpensive method to sandbags. Not looking good here right now. This is <laughs> the cheese strat. But to be expected from players of this caliber, if they're able to take out an opponent by simply using buzz saws and cutting the core out of the base. Now, uh, this can easily be solved in a map like this by uh, changing the map and removing the metal from here and placing the metals either up or down. Uh, you know maps like Vanilla has six metal pieces in the front, so they could easily just do, let's use uh, base one over here. They could cut these out here and do metal, metal, and then metal, metal, and that would prevent buzz saws, and you'd have the same amount of metal as in Vanilla, and you'd be able to put this map into the ranked pool. So, uh, again, just a small suggestion. It would be nice to see a map pool rotation, uh, very similar to something like StarCraft 2. Great door snipe there. Great door snipe. Uh, I would like to lower, I, I would see the, the maps, the map pool lowered down to six. And then every season, they would take three maps out and put three maps new in. Yes, that's going to take a little bit of resources from the developers, but I definitely think that is needed in the ranked pool right now. And the ranked at all uh, is actually quite atrocious at the moment in the game of forts. So that is a great suggestion to change things up and keep things a little bit volatile. Uh, as we know, volatility is what keeps players engaged in the game. Uh, looking like the Muffin Men here, having a bit of a rough time here. They're sitting on two mines, unable to get any more resources down here. They've been focusing more on snipers rather than economy, and that is going to bite them. As you can see here, the badges right now, one, two, three, four mines, three turbines. They are sitting economically very, very nice. Now, uh, why they've decided to go for this style rather than making grids back here or extended grids or something like that so they can place 
Uh, maybe just keeping resources cheap. There's really no need to spend additional resources at the moment. Um, this is one of the disadvantages of this map, is that if you get a little bit of that harassment and one team is able to get out Tier 2 technology, then cannons... Fire beams, plasmas, everything can reach this car, which means that, uh, you know, up to the, about the three minute mark in the game, three and a half minute mark, you really need to start defending your core because stuff's going to be coming at it. If this match, not so much. Both, play, uh, both teams are sticking with that tier one technology. Muffin Man grabbing some economy here. Great to see that here right now. Buster hasn't been utilized at all so far. Um, I just realized something. Remember how I was, <coughs> excuse me, remember how I said about this rope and nodes and creating foundations? Uh, not applicable with Buster. So this actually is a great, great uh, idea here using the ropes because Buster doesn't pay for anything. Now, a little bit disappointing. Again, we're seeing a lot of pinch fists here so far in the tournament. Uh, sad to see. I guess they're not doing commander bands in this specific one. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was a great catch. Great catch right there. Um... Yeah, so we're not. I don't think we're seeing any commander bands in this tournament, so we're going to see a lot of pinch fist again, hoping that that somehow gets dealt with, um, because it makes for very boring gameplay. But there we go, adding some more economy here right now. I'm not sure exactly what Team One is trying to do. Going for the rockets. I thought maybe they were just trolling a little bit. Um, I shouldn't say trolling. I should say memeing. Maybe, but rockets is another great opportunity here if they don't want to move into the tier 2 technology. Uh, I mean, they could have had a plasma out by now and just went pew. Um, but rockets is a good way to, uh, as long as the muffin men continue to expand on their economy, rockets will be less and less viable. I mean, obviously, unless they add more and more rockets, clearly. Um, but we're seeing some damage here right now. We're not having, uh, there we go. Let's add some, add the... Uh, Core damage on here right now. Bad just sitting at 100%. Muffin men down to 88%. Snipers applying some pressure here. They've got exposed snipers and snipers here. Uh, Toby, Toby Quack. Oh, dog gets a cry. Toby Quack. Um, what was I saying? Toby Quack. Uh, not managing to hit any of his sniper shots here. I think that node was in the way. Um, and rockets coming flying in here right now. There we go. More rockets. Another rocket launcher down here from the badges. This is going to be really difficult here for the Muffin Men. As you can see here, they have lots of snipers here to apply the pressure that they need to, and they don't have any gunners to resist them. So, this is going to be not good for the Muffin Men. We're sitting here at the 7 minute and 25 second mark in this match, and uh, Buzzsaw. Okay, I'm not sure where they're going to aim the Buzzsaw, or what they're going to try to do with the Buzzsaw uh, at all. I have no idea. And more sniper pressure here, hitting that door. It's going to be a bit of an expensive repair. Buster, another gr another thing about Buster is, for some reason, it always seems like the repairs on him are so much more expensive. Maybe that's just because you know you're used to playing someone like Armadillo or someone like like uh, Overdrive, where you have lots of resources. You don't really notice it as much, but when you're playing someone like like uh, Pinch Fist or or. Uh, uh, Buster, Warthog, it just seems like repairs are so expensive. Muffin Man absolutely getting dominated here in this match. Lots of sniper pressure going down. Oh, hit the technology. That is super... Oh, they repaired it too. That's so expensive. Big mistake from the Muffin Man. If your technology is not dying, don't repair it. That is ridiculously expensive. And uh, I'm not sure why the badges aren't just dominating this right now. They could have had a munitions plant or a factory down here at this point and absolutely just crushed the Muffin Men. So I'm not sure exactly what they're trying to do here uh, or why they're going this specific route. They could have very easily ended this game. Uh, I don't think the Muffin Men have really done anything. They've just been on defense the entire time here. And Sniper just uh, making sure there's nothing hidden within those background bracings. Just doing a little bit of probing. Uh, they've got one singular gunner unit here. Oh, man. These guys are just absolutely dominating anything and everything. These guys... Okay. So now they're going for the economy here. I don't know. Let me know, what you, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this. Uh, the badges are clearly dominating this match. And now they're just going for economy, trying to take out the mines, trying to take out other stuff rather than going straight for the core. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is this entertaining for you guys? Is it is it meme -y? Is it trolly? Um, 
Let me know what you think. I like that shot. Going straight for the core. 88% core damage still here on the Muffin Men. We're coming up to the 10 minutes in this match. 20 seconds remaining. And rockets. Lots of damage there. Here we go. All right. Looking like the badges are starting to turn on the heat. Continuously adding more and more rockets here. Uh, yeah, again, they could have just went tier 2 technology here and ended the game. Not sure why they decided on the rocket strat. Uh, Mateo having a hard... There he goes. Three shots. Manages to get the gunner down. Rockets are starting to uh, do some more base damage here. But again, no damage to the core yet. Still sitting at 88%. Are they having energy issues? It's looking like they're making an expansion up there to grab some more energy. That could be the problem holding things back here right now. Disconnection from the resources. They're only on one mine at the moment. Simple bracing connection. There it is. The Muffin Men have now reattached to this bottom core. No repair there. Seems like a tactical repair. They don't have the resources, and they did anyway. Oh, so many resources are wasted when you repair your technology, guys. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, hello? Hello? Bracing? Please? Pliss? Pliss? Bracing? Hello? They're even Buster. They can make a node. It doesn't even cost them. Oh, big mistake. Big mistake here. Muffin Men having a rough go at this specific moment in time. And uh, EMP there. Now no, no core resources being gained here. Um, I don't... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's looking like these, that 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 team one here is is. Well, it's working. I guess they're going for it. So there it is, and bouncy, bouncy, boom! There it is, you guys. The muffin men have been defeated. Badges taking this match here, as to be expected. Kronkinator and Mateo are going to be very, very, very good this tournament. You definitely want to keep an eye on them and seeing what they're doing. Guys, that was the Badges versus the Muffin Men. Pinch Fist versus Buster.